today let's take up a question on double column cash book uh, I have the question here let me read out the question first record the following transactions in a double column cash book October 1st cash balance 200 bank balance 500 cash receipt from sale of shares rupees 12,000 then paid into bank rupees 10,000 paid Amrit by check rupees 2,400 Received from Amit by check 1960 and allowed him a discount rupees 40. Then paid wages by cash, bought goods for cash, paid for stationery by cash, paid Hema by check, and discount allowed by her is 50 rupees. Drawn from bank, withdrawn cash from bank 640. Paid into bank, deposited into bank 400. Paid salary by cash, received cash from Dave, 3600, right? These are the transactions which have to be entered into a double column cash book. So, let's take one by one each transaction and do it here. The first one, cash balance and bank balance, 200 and 500 rupees. The date is October 1st. So, here I have the cash book, fine. October 1st, first of all, you will have two balance brought down right two balance brought down cash is 200 and bank is 500 right okay now the transaction on october 2nd it says cash receipt from sale of shares rupees 12000 cash receipt so here basically what i am following here the simplest thing is Whatever increases your bank balance will be debited. Whatever decreases your bank balance will be credited. Same way, when you receive cash, it is debited. When you give cash, it is credited. Right? Now, just see. Cash received from sale of shares. So, we are receiving cash. And this is sale of shares means we can take an account called investment account. Right? So, here I will put it as to investment account and we are, you, are, you are receiving cash for this so it will come in the cash column and that will be 12,000 rupees right now cash received from sale of shares is done October 2nd again paid into bank paid into bank means you are paying cash into the bank so when we say paid into bank right the date is October 2nd when we say paid into bank, the bank is receiving. So, bank balance is increasing, right? So, here you have to put two cash account and in the bank column, you will write 10,000 rupees. The bank, the money is increasing, right? So, in the bank column, you will put 10,000 on the debit side and obviously, here it will be two cash account because you are putting it in bank, right? Now, this is a contra entry. So, in the bracket, you will put contra right contra entry means it will have to come on the other side also right so october 2nd again this is i'll just put the date here and particulars here you will have by bank account by bank account and in the cash column it will be 10000 and here again you will put contra right cash is going out when you are paying money into the bank bank receives the money and cash is going out of your hand right so that is credited here right okay now let's look at this paid amrit by check 2400 this is payment by check right the date here is october 3rd right so here i'll put three as such here this is october 3rd right paid amrit by check means by amrit this is a payment and this is made through check so, this is 2400 here, right? Received from Amit by check 1960 and allowed him a discount of rupees 40, fine. So, October 3rd, you are receiving from Amit by check, right? So, here, October 3rd, you will write to Amit account. You will write only that amount which has been received by check. 
you will not put the uh, cash discount that is allowed here see allowed him discount rupees 40 this will not come right so receipt from amit by check means that is increasing your bank balance by 1960 right okay now come to this october 4th paid wages by cash rupees 500 so this is a cash payment for wages right so here i'll have buy wages account right and uh, this is paid wages by cash 500 rupees right so in the cash column you will have 500 like this right okay now the next entry bought goods for cash when you buy goods for cash it is basically purchases right so october 16th purchases means your paying cash right so it will always be here buy purchases account and uh, the amount is 1200 right okay okay october 18th paid for stationery by cash 300 october 18th again let's put it as buy stationery 300 rupees right 300 october 19th paid hema by check discount allowed by her is 50 rupees again this discount allowed by her is not of any concern to us now it will be there in the journal not in the double column cash book now we will take only this aspect paid hema by check this is a payment by check right so on the payment side what's the date the date is october 19th so on the payment side you will write buy hema account and uh, in the bank column obviously it is paid by check right so in the bank column you will have 740 like this right so discount allowed we have not put here it will not come here right okay discount allowed discount received nothing will come in the double column cash book october 19th drawn from bank drawn from bank means i am withdrawing money from bank right so here basically it's a contra entry so i have put it here october 19th withdrawn cash from bank that's what it means right so cash is coming in cash is coming in it is a receipt for cash so here you will write to bank account right it is a contra entry and in the cash column you will write 640 right and here you will write buy cash account in the bank column you will write 640 bank balance is decreasing when you withdraw money from bank the bank balance is decreasing so in the bank column bank column it will come on the credit side buy cash account and in the cash column it will be two bank account on the debit side right then <clears throat> paid into bank once again october 24th paid into bank so when you pay into bank bank balance increases right so you will write to cash account and in the bank column you will write the amount because bank balance is increasing here the amount is uh, how much <clears throat> paid into bank 400 right so here you are going to have to cash account so here it will be 400 right and on 24th this again is a contra entry so I'll put contra here on 24th you will write by bank account this cash is decreasing cash is going out right so 400 here it's credited right and then after this you have paid salary by cash october 26th right so paid salary by cash is here by salary account this is uh, 650 rupees on the cash fine and there's one more entry there received cash from dave 3600 this is october 28th received cash this is a receipt right october 28th you are receiving cash 
from there. So that is in the cash, you will have 3600, right? Now, these are the transactions that we have taken here. And all the transactions have now been entered into the double column cash book, right? Now, we will come to the balancing, right? Now, as far as the cash book is concerned, it will always have a debit balance. So, the total of the receipt side will always be more, right? So, first of all, let's total the debit side here for both, right? So, here we have this is uh, 12,000 plus 200 plus 640 plus 3,600 which will give us 16,440, right? This total, 10,000 plus 500 plus 1960 plus 400 gives me 12,860, right? Now, Look at this cash column here. If I total all the, uh, this is at the end of the month, I'll find out the balances, right? If you add up 10,000 plus 500 plus 1,200 plus 300 plus 400 plus 650, right? It will be 13,050. So that is less than this, right? So basically this total, this is the total on both sides here. And here you will have buy balance carried down, right? That is 16,440 minus the total of all this, right? Minus 10,000, minus 500, minus 1,200, minus 300, minus 400, minus 650, which will uh, give me <clears throat> three three nine zero right <coughs> so it's basically sixteen thousand four forty minus thirteen thousand fifty which is three thousand three hundred and ninety that is the cash balance and uh, here the bank also the debit side is more so we are getting a debit balance for the bank also so bank balance. So 12,860 minus 2,400 minus 740 minus 640. You get it as the balance as 9,080 rupees. Right. So this is the closing balance of the cash account and the bank account for this particular month right so now we have entered all the transactions here and we have found out the balances also this particular example which i have taken up this has a transaction for only one month right so if you have the transaction for the whole year then obviously at the end of the year you'll be getting the cash account balance and bank account balance which can directly be put into your trial balance no need for preparing a ledger account this itself acts as a ledger account right so with that i'll come to the end of this session on double column cash book bye